So Taco Bell makes the claim, don't get your breakfast burrito from Burger Place. Let's see how they stand up. What it do, what it do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new we gotta talk about. What's going on, everybody? Man, these breakfast wars are heating up, if I do say so myself. I did a few reviews of people that's revamping their menus, coming out with some new breakfast items. I checked out Wendy's, their breakfast baconator sandwich, and their chicken maple croissant. Both of them are pretty good. I, I see what Wendy's is doing. I checked out McDonald's. They came out with the new chicken sandwiches. I checked out the chicken McGriddle and the chicken biscuit. And then I compared those to Chick-fil-A's chicken biscuit sandwich. I don't know why I did that. People was reaching out to me saying, mercy, mercy. It was a mercy killing. We already know. So Taco Bell, in response to that, they did a little counter strike, fired some shots, boop, boop, came out with some new toasted burritos that we gonna check out right now. Got the bag. So let me, let me get this background noise out the way. So you can get these toasted burritos, different sizes, all the way down from a dollar to grande with double the eggs if you want a little bit bigger portion size. What I ended up going with, my weapon of choice for this breakfast morning, was the hash brown toasted breakfast burrito steak. It's the one with the hash brown tilted sideways, Paul Wall style. That's the one I wanted. So this thing is toasting. Kind of like when you snuggle them under the covers on a nice winter day. And uh, we gonna unwrap them. Okay, not bad. Okay, let's take a bite. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I wanna take a second bite. But one thing about burritos, they always got too much brain at the top. So I just want to rip off the top a little bit. Get the ratio right. Ooh, we got some melted cheese in here. We got the hash brown. He doesn't look as tilted because I, I must have crushed him with my mouth. We got some nice steak in here, people. Got some nice cuts of steak. I feel like I'm a butcher. We have some nice selection of steak here. Okay. Let's get another, let's get another bite, that second bite. Okay, look at that steak. Mm-hmm. I've tasted enough. Let me cut to the chase. Let me cut to the review. Guys, I like what Taco Bell's doing here. It's toasted. I like that. Keeps all the components on the inside very nice and warm. I was impressed to see the cheese melted. Steak, very good. Hash brown. Nice. It wasn't like the, the marketing picture, I will say that. It wasn't full, full Paul Wall tilt the sideways, but it was good hash brown. I mess with your hash brown, Taco Bell. I like what you guys are doing. You got a little playbook out of McDonald's. I see you. All in all, guys, this is a great item. I'm going to have to give an official score review of a 9 out of 10 for this item. I would highly recommend it. It's very good, very tasty. The value was there. I got the combo, came to $4.89 before tax. That's not bad for a whole combo. I got this right here, this Mountain Dew. Um, good. I had a good Taco Bell rep, I'll say that as well, because I was calling this all types of stuff. I was like, can I get the Mountain Dew wake up juice? She was like, huh? I said, the Mountain Dew wake up juice. She's like, oh, the Mountain Dew kickstart. I said, there you go. <laughs> now we talking. I didn't know what I was talking about. I, I was trying to confirm I got the right food item. Taco Bell was on point today, you guys. Great value, great food item. Um, this was great all around. Highly recommend it. Go check it out, you guys. So as always, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share once, share twice. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think should be the next content. Whether you're a regular or a first timer, please subscribe and hit that notification bell reminder. Catch y'all next time. Peace.